Nina. Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Welcome back, piggies. Damn, y'all smell like pigs. Mm. Welcome back, girls. Y'all know how we do it here. We keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. And a lot of y'all still don't understand that. Yes, as some of y'all say, I have something to complain about. That's what you call it, right? Complaining when somebody's speaking their mind. Some of you hoes still don't get it. I literally told y'all last weekend how I feel. Now, of course, my people of common sense, most of my fans that have common sense, understood where I'm coming from. They didn't look at it as complaining. They looked at it as, bitch, we got you. Sweetie, if you got offended by me saying that you hoes only come support me for drag race content, then bitch, a hit dog will holler because that's you. I mean, if I clocked your tea, sue me. Why do people always have to announce, I'm leaving, I just can't take her. She's so negative. Stop announcing that you're leaving. Nobody cares, just leave. I'm quite content with the rest of the piggies that are here. The channel is still growing and the views are still going. So, I mean, thank you, I guess. But we have a lot to talk about, child. But just really quick, I have to read this one comment from this one viewer. Thank you so much. Instead of reading it from my... Hey, big boy. PS4 Pro. I'll be reading it from my... MacBook Pro. Or Mac Pro Book, whatever you want to call it. So, this comes from Coaster Lover 1045. Also, I just came back to comment that I really appreciate that you take the time after posting your videos to go through the comments and leave a heart on them. I think that you have left a heart on every single comment that I have left on your video, and I really do smile and feel seen when you do that. It makes me feel so much more connected to you and your content, even though it's just you clicking a button, it shows that you really out there caring about your supporters, just like we care about you. Thank you so much. Nina, Bonina, Fafana, Osama, Bin Laden Brown. I thank you for noticing that. Thank you. Thank you for understanding that I'm a nice person. That just calls out bullshit. Speaking of bullshit, people have been asking, People have been asking me and asking me to talk about Miss Allison, AKA Sherry Monroe. Oh, Sherry Pie. I need a sip, hold on. Oh, by the way, this is my take on a like, y'all know I like doing Marceline. It was like a human version of Marceline that I seen that I was um, inspired by this fan art I seen of her. So yeah, this is his look. Oh, and one more thing. Girl, for those of y'all complaining about my background and you want to see backdrops, well, sweetie, buy me one. Buy me some, okay? Buy me better audio, buy me better cameras. Um, Because my real piggies that are here, they're not here for a fancy background, child. They're here to see me and hear what I have to say. That's all that matters. Yes, it'll be nice to have fancier equipment, but for right now, this is what I have. So unless you're going to buy me some, you're going to edit my videos, Shh. Okay. But yeah, people have been asking me about Sherry Pie on my live video as if I was on season 12, as if she's my sister, as if I really should care. I mean, 
these hoes didn't care about when I was being bashed for racism from other people and everything. They didn't care. They stayed quiet. I feel like I'm always like talking about things and defending people that could give two shits about me. Speaking of cancellation, just really quick, AJ and the Queen got canceled, t season two. I mean, it wasn't good anyway. Oh, I know somebody's saying, Nina's never happy. She never likes anything. Just because I don't agree with everything from a show, because like people get so mad when I'm like, I don't like a acting challenge or I don't find this fashion good or this and that, like, you just don't like anything. It's like, I'm not easily impressed like you. But yeah, AJ and the Queen got canceled. I do feel bad for RuPaul, but maybe if she would have put me on the show and they wouldn't have got canceled. JK, <laughs> but for real, I feel bad for her because I know she wants to step out on other endeavors and things, but it just wasn't that good to me. And maybe in the future it might get picked up again. But anyway, it's gonna be a long video. We gotta watch the episode. I haven't watched it yet. Back to Sherry. I know I'm all over the place, but when am I not? Oh. Um, oh. One more thing off topic. Yeah, I know you may mad, sue me. I had bought some fake vampire teeth, right? Because I wasn't going to paint them on. Does anybody here actually know how to put in fake vampire teeth with that putty stuff? Girl, I wasted all of it. I drove the CVS, got some polygrip. That didn't work. So now my whole mouth is, is full of glue, but no teeth. I can't. Okay. So for those of y'all that don't know, Sherry Pie um, has been caught up in some water, some hot water, and people have also brought Britta into this as well. And it has to do with her taking advantage of straight guys and guys that didn't know that she was pretending to be this female director and she took advantage of them. Let's just read some of this, I can't. So I'm gonna just read this. Sherry Pie has been disqualified from Drag Race. She's been disqualified as far as she, they already then told that she made it to top four. She made it to top four, but now they are disqualifying her from the finale. And I guess they'll probably be editing out some of her confessionals. I don't know. They even had talks about maybe canceling season 12, but that wouldn't be fair to the other 12, to the other girls that have worked hard, spent their money, been sitting here waiting for this season to premiere over one person to ruin the whole thing. So she's been disqualified. Okay. And investigating to catfishing allegations. Okay, here we go. Drag queen Sherry Pie has been disqualified from the current 12th season of RuPaul's Drag Race TV executives announced Friday. One day after BuzzFeed News reported allegations from five men that they had been catfished by the performer who was posting, posing as a casting director. Joey... Jiggly Caliente, I can't pronounce his last name, better known by his drag persona, Sherry Pie, is alleged to have deceived his former classmates at Sunny Cortland in New York. As well as actors he worked with in Nebraska Theater Company. One of the young men said he even agreed to masturbate on camera as part of the audition process. Y'all have a lot to say about this, and some of y'all may not like it. See, this is why I hate when people ask me about things, because when you tell your truth and how you feel, people get mad because you don't say things that they want to hear. So please, let me have my opinion. Let me speak my mind before you judge me. I mean, because otherwise, don't ask me how I feel about it. Now, all of this was allegations until Sherry Pie apologized and kind of just told on herself. She probably should have just stayed quiet for now, but. Um, she's like, I truly apologize to everyone I have hurt with my actions. He wrote, I also want to say how sorry I am to my sisters of season 12 and honestly the whole network and production company. I guess one of the victims name is Ben Shimkus. Um, the man whose original Facebook post Wednesday about Jiggly Mella prompted others to come forward, told BuzzFeed News he was glad to hear of the, disqualification, of the disqualification for the victims. I hope this small victory aids in our healing process, he said. Since BuzzFeed News published a story Thursday night containing allegations from five men, two more have come forward to say that they too were deceived by Giuliani County online call involving a fake casting director called Allison Mossy. 
One 27-year-old actor who asked to remain anonymous shared dozens of emails he traded between 2016 and 2017 with the person he thought to be Mossy, in which she said she was considering him for roles in a musical version of A Nightmare Before Christmas and in a supposed play called Volk that was said to be about a man who became larger and larger by taking steroids. The actor who said he was referred to Mossy by after they worked together at a haunted house attraction, also said he submitted video auditions of himself for the Vogue project in which he said disturbing things. The subject matter of the video was very vocally stressing upon what does it feel like and what does it smell like for the character to be that muscular. He said, like talking about the slime underneath his pits. It was a discussion of how do you think when he smells, does that feel like a climax to him when he ejaculates the actor recalled. Being hungry and young and wanting to get a break, I continued to do whatever was needed for this casting, he said. So you kind of just consented to doing it. I'm gonna come back to that. The actor even paid $63 for a bus trip to New York City in 2016 after Mossy told him to come in for an audition before ignoring the emails until the day he was due in town. I just spent a lot of money on this and it, was, and it wasn't easy, he said. Her persona decided to rip me off. The actor said eventually he decided that Jigalila was behind the catfishing when the drag performer mentioned details from an email between him and Mossy. The actor cut off his friendship with Jigalila but never confronted him about the deception, he said. I, I felt so embarrassed at that point and I didn't want to confront him, he said. I felt so betrayed and I lied and lied to at that point. Okay, guys, let me... Let me speak. Okay. I have mixed feelings about this. I know some people say catfishing is an assault or it's criminal. Some people don't think that it's criminal. I really genuinely don't know. Because, I mean, I can guarantee that most of us have maybe tricked somebody in the past. I mean, when I was younger, I used to be on the chat line changing my voice to a girl, talking to guys. I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, I mean, I've done stuff like that. I just don't understand why you would willingly send videos of yourself in Jack and All for a play about Nightmare Before Christmas or Vogue. It doesn't even sound right. It doesn't sound right. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, Sherry is wrong. Let's get that out there. She's wrong, okay? But also, you have to have a little bit of common sense. This is why I feel bad for, like, victims, like, real, like, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that they're not real, but, like, real victims who really have been, like, physically assaulted, kidnapped, drugged, things like that, because when you have people that willingly go to a hotel for an audition, no really real legit casting director is going to ask you to go to a hotel to audition. And if you're going to that ho to that hotel or you're sitting in this video, it's because you are willing, like he said, to do what it takes to get the role, to get the big, to get the big break. Nobody held a gun to your head. Nobody forced you to doing it. You could be peer pressured, but we all have free will and common sense to be like, no, this doesn't sound right. I'm not doing it. It doesn't make it right, it doesn't make it wrong, it's just common sense. Don't send a video of you masturbating. And I'm quite sure a lot of us have sent naked pictures of ourselves, videos of ourselves to people willingly. I mean, we don't expect for it to get out there, but I'm sure we've done that. And the other issue that I have, because I feel bad for everybody. I do, everybody involved, the victims, cheery. I always feel bad for the bad guy. I know. But I feel bad because this is supposed to be a time of celebrating that she actually made it on this season and the world premiere of her episode. And I'm quite sure right now she's in a negative, negative, horrible dark place. Probably thinking about suicide. And what I don't like are people that are supposed to be so woke but are also bullies. My thing is, you can be mad and everything, but must you go to people's page 
and make things worse? Must you go to people's page and leave puke emojis and say kill yourself and do this and do that instead of just going to the victim's page and giving them love and giving them positivity? Y'all would rather make things worse and just spread hate. It reminds me of like people back in the day with pitchforks lining up to see people get stoned, to see people get beheaded, to see people burnt at the stake. People find enjoyment in other suffering. And that's what a lot of people do. A lot of y'all are guilty of that, of going to people's pages and attacking them versus maybe trying to give them help. And I'm sorry that bothers me. It does bother me. People want to call me a mean person. Y'all are mean girls, okay? Like, y'all are mean. I'm not talking to the ones who aren't, but the ones who are, y'all know who y'all are. It's mean, it's evil. And then I hate when certain drag queens, because Pheromone and, and other people have jumped, in, jumped on the hate, on the bandwagon. I hate when some people try to talk about a situation, not because they really care, but because they want to come off as righteous and woke to get more views and likes. Not even knowing the whole situation, but just like, Da, da 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 And it's like, girl, stay in the corner. We get it, girl, you're woke. We get it. Okay, we get it. So anyway, it's been a long time. I, and I, apo I apologize for this video being so long before I even get into the show. But people, people asked me about this. So I had to talk about it. I had to give my opinion. I just think the whole thing is just crazy. I feel bad for all the other girls on the season that have to go through this. Because now it's going to be awkward watching this season with all this going on. And so I'm just saying that I feel bad for both parties. I do. I hope the victims get help. I hope that they find forgiveness. I hope that Sherry finds forgiveness in herself. I hope she becomes a better person. But I don't think I don't think we should beat somebody while they're already down. I just really don't. I don't. Like what do you like like I, and I'm trying to think what do the victims want from this? Like, my issue is also, I'm sorry, but, like, when this was going on, why didn't you, because as far as we know, none of them went to the police. And I know a lot of rape victims or things, they're too ashamed. But why does it always seem like when, some, when somebody's about to become famous or become big, that's when people come out of the cave and are like, this happened to me. And it's like, and, I, and, and once again, it just ruins it for some victims that are really legit victims. It's like... Don't, because then it comes off like malice, like you're doing something just for the wrong reasons. Because if somebody did this to me, I believe that I would say something when it happens, not waiting until somebody becomes famous, because what if they don't? I just wish people would just step forward before somebody gets on TV. Anyway, those are my opinions. Hope y'all respect my opinions. Let's keep it respectful here. Let's get to this show. Because, girl, it's just the whole cancel culture thing is just so sickening to me that it is sickening. All talk and no play. Rock'em Sakura. Um, the look. It's okay. The, the, the tucking area is really suspicious. Like, really bad, actually. I appreciate that she pads, but the booty looks like pampers. Oh. So, I'm gonna... I'll still rent the look. As a boy... I'm Rockham Sakura, and am I really Japanese? Who knows? Cute. Very girly face, you know, but when I tell you he is thick and musk... Those, those thighs... Those legs, girl, he will ride you into a coma. And I'm here for it. I guess it's memorable. For the right reasons, I don't know. Are you ready to live a little, spin a lot? Dahlia Sin. It's a cute look. It's cute. I mean, that's rentable. I'm Dolly Set, and I'm here to take your man. You know. As a boy, I mean, you know, gals, I mean, you know, zebra, zebra. I mean, okay. I'm at your place, you at my place. We both here. Might as well do something. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, yeah. 
and Dahlia's actually really nice for real. I I I I met Dahlia. She's nice. She looks she looks like a bitch, but she's nice. Help me save room for dessert, because I brought pie. Here goes Harvey Weinstein. Uh oh. I mean Sherry Pie. <laughs> Sherry Pie's cute as look. Oh, Sherry Pie's look is cute. Um, I'm gonna buy it. I know, sue me. <laughs> but I'm gonna buy it. She's cute. Cherry pie, and I am the queen of chaos. I mean, as a guy, I mean, doesn't he already look like Harvey a little bit? I mean, <laughs> but it's the, it's a cute boy look. I have to give him that. Hey y'all, let's play some basketball. Yeah. I don't really get Jan's entrance, but um. <laughs> Look, it's rentable. I'm Jan, I'm 26, and I'm from New York City. I hope everybody calls me. As a boy, me. I still see Jan as in drag. Just very, like, F to M with a cute haircut. Um, the eyebrows are snatched for gods. Um, yeah. Hey, bitches! She's here! Okay, I... Don't, I can't, I really don't care for Jada's look. And Jada, I'm sorry, girl. I don't, I, I don't know why, but like, it's giving me this very, like, Esma from, um, is it Crunk or Crunk, whatever it is. Emperor's New Groove, Chow. I'm not really, I know, I can't buy it or rent it, but she, I mean, she's painted, you know. It's Jada Essence Hall, the essence of beauty, and I'm here to play the competition. As a boy, you know, cheekbone, zebalizers, gabazamas. For me, drag is exuding like feminine energy. I don't consider myself really too much of a drag queen, but more of a female impersonator. I actually appreciate her saying that because that's how I felt a long time. Like, I know I do all kinds of different drag, but like for me, the basis is it comes from a female. You know, that's just, that's, all, that's my opinion. So the female illusion, you know, and that's just, so I actually appreciate her saying that. Cause whether I'm a donkey, a camel, an alien, a fish or whatever child, I'm still giving like the illusion of a female underneath it, so. Season 12 is about to be in Zane. I hate Aiden Walk. I don't know if she's walking that way on purpose, but it looks very uncomfortable, Frankenstein-ish. But, I said it before, I think Aiden's makeup is great. Um, the look, you know, it's very simple, but she's always giving me like golf, vamp, Betty Boop, you know, and I'm, I'm actually gonna buy this look. It's, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. I'm Aiden Zane, and I am here to slaughter the competition. As a boy, once again, this the other person giving me very like, you know, F to MTs. Nothing wrong with that, but she's giving me F to MTs. Um, can't find her lips at all, but um, yeah. Um, I'm definitely an actress, first of all. Like, I love to emote, I love to give expression. When Girl, don't feel, don't feel it out loud. I can see Allison Mossy's clock ticking. Actress, how much are you packing down there? JK, <laughs> but I love how she's like, I love to emote and give them like, but I don't see you, I can't tell. Cause like she just see her personality is just so, but that's how I guess a lot of actors are. They're very, they're very like just to themselves. Some some of them very shy, very just. And then when they get on on screen or something, then they're able to emote these different characters. So hopefully she really can do that. Where do you perform? See, the closest city for me to perform is Atlanta. And it's like an hour away. How many times a week do you perform then? Not a week currently. <laughs> Like, what do, how do you do drag there? I mean, I feel like everybody's kind of like picking on her. <laughs> like, don't let the girl breathe. Oh, people are like, wait, there's already queens here, girl. Mm -hmm. Some of these stations are filled. Girl, that's when I would secretly go through their drag and take something and wear it on the next episode. Thanks, girls. <laughs> yeah. That's why AJ and the Queen got canceled. JK! 
I have to say, I think I enjoyed the first premiere better so far, as far as the opening goes. Um, it's okay. What do y'all think? Rock'em Sakura. And amazing. I know that RuPaul's there. They're doing another fashion fall thing, so it's kind of fair that they get to do the same thing. And I actually am liking Rock'em's look. I think it's cute. I'm going to buy her look. Kim Chi's looking like... Itch. I can't tell who any of the other people are. Yeah. Now that's Andre Neon Tally. Oh, okay. Then is in. Okay, Dahlia looks sickening. I don't know if it's spring, but it's sickening. I love this dress. Yes, ma'am. It's very, if like, Wil Wilma was like going to this fancy dinner with Fred Flintstone. Like, Sherry Pie. Look at Sherry Tassel. She's huge in Germany. I don't see spring, but Sherry's look is nice. The girls are kind of bringing it. Okay, I buy it. Jan. No last name, just Jan. Marie Jan's winner. I like Jan's look. Girl, I'm be broke as hell after buying all this bullshit. Girl. Jada Essence Hall. Kaboom. Gonna put somebody's eyes out with those things. <laughs> I <love> Jada. <laughs> the girls are girling. I buy it. Aiden Zane. Category is. My spring look is very. Aiden's look, I'm not that excited about it. Maybe if the green plant would have been like the same color of the gloves, maybe. But I'll rent it though. It's like Georgie was taken care of by Pennywise, and Pennywise taught him to become a fierce drag queen and to never let his raincoat go but make it into a beautiful dress. Serving fashion for fall. Rock'em Sakura. Koi toy. I like Rock'em Spring look better, but I still like this. I'm gonna buy it. Uh, the, the, the girls. Dahlia Sin. Inspired by Michelle before electrolysis. <laughs> this is a fall look that's very avant-garde. Um, I, I know it's cool, but I kind of not crazy over it. I guess I don't like the head piece going with it. But it's still rentable. I'm going to rent it. All right. Another helping of Sherry Pie. Straight out the love it up. Sherry Pie. I don't like this. I hate, once again, this covering the head thing and the hat. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't like this one. Finally, I can save some goddamn money. And I mean, at least she's dressed for the funeral of her drag career. Guacamole. This fall from Crocs. <laughs> I think I would have liked a different, like maybe like a swoop up kind of hairstyle with this outfit or Jan, but it's still viable. This is this is different. I like this. Okay, girl. Jada Essence Hall. I used to room in Jada Essence oh, Hall. Yeah, in college. Yeah. I like Jada's spring look better, but I kind of wish she would have changed the hair color or something, but. It's still rentable. I'm going to rent this. Zane, she seems very cozy. <laughs> Somewhere, there's a bunch of tea kettles that have no... Aiden's look. It's cute. It's like, it's like she had these looks that are, like, cute. Could do a little more, but it's cute. This could also have been a spring look, too, honestly. I'm going to... I wonder if they're gonna say something about her wearing that hair though. I'm gonna rent this. We're taking our clothes off. I'm looking to the left. I'm looking to my right. Da, 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 da. Meh. <laughs> shady. Now that was shady. That was shady. The room. Dahlia is trade central. All right, Dahlia, you better get naked on purpose in front of the camera to upgrade your grinder after the season. Hey. <laughs> Going into this challenge, I feel pretty confident. Musical theater is my life. It's right now. Uh, that's why the brows are so hot arched. Her, her, girl, Jan has a cone like she doesn't have any eyebrows right now. She has one of those lace front eyebrows. All right. Style, we should start off like silhouetted first. Girl, Rockham's legs are really nice. 
Gab us up the phone. Okay, so confused me. I'm I'm so over Jade on this good skin. I used to have a good skin. Y'all remember? Oh, speaking of that, does anybody here has anybody ever here oh has, has anybody here ever took the medicine for acne called Accutane or it's called like Isotronium, whatever it's like two names. Cause I've heard good and bad and not and every everything, every medication has side effects, but like I'm just curious, has anybody tried it? Cause I heard that it really kills acne and I was like, girl, like my dermatologist that I went to didn't give me that. She gave me some other bull that's I don't know if it's broken or not. So let me know. Walk to a spot and hit it. I like that. Okay, then let's do that. Maybe. Girl, Jada wants to fight the girls. <laughs> girl, Jada had that. Jada already had this like this like don't f with me face. Child. Is it just me or does Jan not remind y'all kind of like of Alexis Michelle? Not more so looks, but just like the way their their demeanor, the way they act outside of drag. I don't know. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to record, but basically they just have to do this Chicago kind of theme number called You Don't Know Me. I will say the last premiere with the other girls, they seemed to kind of get along a little more and was able to work with each other. This group of gals, we'll see. And Rock, you have us now, bitch. This is new beginnings for all of us. Well... It's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. been Beauty in Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Okay, I buy RuPaul's hair. I love this hair. The outfit, I'm not that crazy over. I'll rent it, but it just looks like the top part of a pineapple, but it's made into a dress. But I rent the hair. I mean, I buy the hair, I rent the outfit. I saw the fishnets, and they were ripped. Crawling from the shadows and into Technicolor. I like Aiden's. I do. Kind of put me in Sasha a little bit, but Aiden gives me very Tim Burton, like very Jack Skeleton, the way he's talking and narrating. I live. I live for that. Hi, boys. I don't know you, but you definitely know me. Dahlia, I mean. <laughs> I'm mad they didn't even show the judges' reactions. Something tells me they were probably sleeping. Oh. It's Jada, the essence of beauty. The gals, the face, and tons of booty. Okay, Jada. And she's painted, girl. She look good. Okay. Okay. Look over, sis. It's Jan. The girl next door was so much more. There's no choice but to stand. Okay, Jan. Okay. The girls are girly. The girls are girly. A high kick to a bar. I can send a grown man back home to his mama. It's so crazy that I have to like it, I guess. <laughs> my calorie, I'm full of fat. No, I'm not gluten. Cherry has some good, like, little, like, one-liners. But I, her pads, I can already tell, looks kind of bad. Like, as far as, like, if she had on a bathing suit, it was kind of awkward. It wasn't bad. Like, they made it seem like it was going to be really bad, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, Rama. But it's kind of unfair because like they gave like the first group of girls this like high energy kind of like rap thing, and then this is kind of more like you know laid back. It's very different, but still. I, the tool. <laughs> I am serving you a. Aiden's look is it's cute. I'm not wowed by it. The colors are interesting. I like the colors. 
Um, I'm gonna rent it. <laughs> There's an ointment for that. <laughs> My look is very inspired by. This lighting is making you kind of see Dahlia's like five o'clock shadow a little bit. Um, now somebody was talking about how a lot of the queens now don't seem to put on a lot of makeup. They go for this like kind of natural, like I'm natural woman route, but like in reality, we're still men. So we gotta put on a little more to create more of an illusion. Um, but besides that, she does look, she looks decent. The, the, the look is okay. I'll rent it. I'm ready to show the judges exactly how elegant I can be. I feel like a big yellow I don't like the front part of Jada's dress, but I'll rent it. Simply Jan. Well, she wore her tool belt. I don't like Jan's look. Like, I know it's like a different take of tool, but it doesn't read tool, really. Um, so I'm just gonna window shop it and then keep on walking. Go Sakura. Oh, oh yeah. out for summer. <laughs> She's acting quite. Rock don't put on all the tool, but even though it's like bam in your face, I'm kind of here for it. I'm gonna buy this look. Okay, rock them. I mean, I appreciate her trying to be like a storm cloud, but I don't like it. It's very um, detox when she had on that jellyfish kind of outfit. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is my favorite show. I listen to the critiques and I want to apply them to myself every time I step on the runway. It needs to be different every single time. Okay, girl. That kiss an ass. We get it. If Meryl Streep could be a drag queen, it would be you. It would. It's funny she said that because I was thinking that she's giving me Meryl Streep. She really is, but also the Vivian. So, yeah, I see that. Because it does something when you move that is really pleasant to look at. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Robin is talking, but she's just happy to be there, but nothing makes sense. <laughs> but she's just happy to be there. Because you are the top... Two queens of the week. Uh. Definitely, I think Jada could be top on there. Sherry, she, for some reason, I could have seen maybe, um, I don't know, Jan? I guess. I haven't heard this song before, but I kind of like it so far, and they both are doing pretty good. I think Jada's a little stronger a little bit, but they're both doing good. Cute change. I don't think it needed the split, but you know, get the $5,000. See, see what I said last week about like difference in like white and like a black performance? But this is all again like the last episode with the lip sync. Um, and then with like Bendela and Aja and like, it's just, you know, it's just depending on what side you like more. I don't get why they showed Sherry a lot on that part, like she was doing something. Jada Essence Hall, you're a winner, baby. Rightfully so. Congratulations. It's like a clash of the titans. I hate. Hate, hate, hate in the words of Nicki Minaj. Widow's wig. Same, 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 Ken, Ken, same. 100% getting it on. <laughs> Did these bitches just me? That was pretty good, the last part. Well, it's time for Untucked. Let's see if there's anything to talk about. Well, Untucked was kind of boring. I feel like maybe it'll get better once people start going home. All it was was Rockham was going through her, you know, insecurities again and getting into, into her head. And, you know, um, I think she thinks that San Francisco doesn't, like, show her the respect. So she's kind of worried about how they're going to feel. So I kind of can relate to that because the same thing why I did with Atlanta. And it's like, child, forget them. Like, I made it on the show. But, and then Jada and... Sherry, they kind of going back and forth about the argument that happened when they were trying to learn the choreo, the choreo. 
Robin came in the back. The other judge didn't come. I don't know why. I guess she didn't think she was important enough. I don't know. She couldn't be bothered. Um, and that's it. And next week, all the girls will be together. And um, oh, and as you saw, or they didn't see, they, they showed the disclaimer that Sherry will not be in the finale. And that's it. So anyway, this has been a long video, but thank y'all for y'all's patience. Thank y'all for being here as always and supporting me all the way through. And um, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, and stay blessed. Bye.